What's going on YouTube? Bromaz here. Welcome back to more of a Vampire Warfare what I'm doing. It feels like I'm coming towards the end of the game actually. Like, I don't know, it just feels like I am. I don't know. Maybe at least three quarters away through now. So I just took a break after the record in the last episode. I had like a nice cup of tea. And shared my Andrew Cakes with my dog Megan. Uh, I got back to the hospital now, and I. Uh, Why well, can't I just fast travel? Well, I'm going for a white chapel that way. Right, look, I got distracted. I don't know where you came from or why you're just going for me. <laughs> I'm gonna start the vampire organization uh, going on to me now as well. That's why there was, was no fucking um, um, scowls there. Usually, at that point, there's quite a few scowls there just lying around. I mean, it was earlier when I went through the gate. Oh no, first I knocked the gate. Oh, I was there back there. I was back there at some point. And there was scowls there, quite a few of them. I was just thinking, oh, I wonder if there's any scowls there. I walked through there as a, as a vampire. Waiting to death, so he can try and kill me. I 
You know how to. They betray him. He certainly keep betraying me. Okay, I always forget some of them are going to actually explode. And poison me like that. Killed instantly. That's why is it? I think I can go this way. Hey boys. Right, look how much damage I've done for one hit of that. Wow. How is I killed them two now? Jeez. Oh, I missed it. Oh shit, don't. I was messed up. Taking out the entire neighborhood. Of scales. Can't wish where I'm going actually with uh sucking deadland in there.
Oh, no, I'm going. Sorry. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah. that one <laughs> Admiral but foolish I'm wearing a baby, everyone's dead. Completely. I don't even know gangs are coming around anymore. You're a haunt, do you say, or a haunt? Fair enough. But I moved that away of that. I hate them rogue icons, man, when they do rest. Because they just spam that one attack. That's all they do. Take two hours. Take less than that. So I'm just editing one of the videos. My time is going down quite quick. Look, it's all it's all edited. It's got to wait uh, to render it now. Put them together. Oh, this is boring sitting there for his fucking long ass bloody loading screens. This time I'm going straight for not fighting anyone, just going straight for the hospital. I don't want to fight anyone, just can't be asked. I have this thirst for blood. Okay. 
Oi, you want I for? Oh, you want to write me to know? Whoa, shit me sideways. Oh come on, fucking stamina man. It sorry guys, it doesn't the stamina thing does me nothing. Again I wasn't watching it. It's a stupid little thing I uh, have stamina. I didn't even see it, it was that low. It shouldn't have been that low to be honest anyway. I'll have to kill that uh, fucking Ekon again. I just had a mad thought about maybe it's the fighting kill everything kind of long away from what, there to the hospital. I don't know. It could be wrong, but. But I killed two with all Ekon things, so. I couldn't be asked to fight the rogue one because they're just annoying. We do is we just spam the same attack over and over again, so I literally couldn't be asked that one. I might fight the law one though. But as for the rogue ones, they're just boring to fight and they just spam the same bloody attack. Every time. Half the time you dodge that attack, it doesn't always work. Come on, man. Oh, we are. Why does it spawn me? <laughs> well, I think I'll fight him again, then. What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? I guess we'll find out. Let's just start progressing first and evolving. The flower is dying. It needs water. Hmm. 
Now what can I do? Oh, might as well do that then. So it's scary to do that. That was 32 required. Well, that's about as much as I can get it. Another way. Stamina's going up. Oh, that's probably probably fed, fed up with me saying stamina, stamina, stamina. <laughs> I bloody hate the thing either. Gets me killed in the most awkward times. Confusing. Do I do both? I ain't got a clue. Not confirm. Following night. Alright, I highly expected the resident of the city direct district passed away last night. Malicious Dawson. Co founder and head of the Dawson Dawson Company at 71 years of age. It was noticed that Mr. Dawson's health. Had recently declined at once. Joyful businessman had almost totally disappeared from social events since the tragic death of his twin brother. And the influential man, Aloysius Dawson, was also a great art collector and a concerned philanthropist. Recently, he had a campaign for a delicious plan to save London from a Spanish flu by raising a quarantine wall to separate districts and contain the epidemic. But only a few hours before his death, the magnet had given up. Magnate had given orders to cancel the construction of a wall. More surprisingly, large donations of money have been received by all major London hospitals, while equally important contributions have been made to the smallest clinics and dispensaries. Does it mean that Lodge's Dawson, a man known for his fortitude and conservative opinions, was finally touched by grace? Who could say? Only one thing is certain. With a city, thanks to that man's late generosity, stocks of medical supplies have been replenished. The death toll has significantly been lowered in the last 20 hours. That hundreds of grateful citizens will be elite at the St. Mary Churchyard to accompany their final journey of an actor. They're all still dead. They're no longer ill. All complete healthy. Yeah, the guy deserved it. It was a bit of a, uh... Of an arse. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. 
I better follow the blood. Ah, come shop man. Find a first door man. That's not all left. Ah, long as loading screens again. Let's <laughs> get ten seconds if you like, guys. Hmm. Let me go take a how long to do it. The video's done already. I can go as a spice or something. Ultraviolet curtains and ori powder. Ah, Dr. Swansea's ah, always been a resourceful bastard. Ah, I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Ah, 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 Says a lot about ah, how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh. 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 <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. <laughs> Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Take you down! I was fighting, man. I can't fight me. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. It's called a coward, man.
skip a bit if you want, guys. Because I'm a vampire, idiot. <laughs> what do you think? Show some style. Fight like a man. You don't want to hide in the sunlight, mate. This boy is useless on me. Something else. Show some style. Fight like a man. One hiding the sunlight, mate. True light will cleanse you. Come on, Stanley, that's what I was going for fucking sunlight, yeah? Let's use my stem. Hmm. I'm, I'm like my stem. Before. I don't know why. Sorry guys, if you're doing the video. Just notice some of my phones. One sec.
Sorry about that. Oh, I still don't know my sound. What the fuck? I don't, know why it's, I don't know why I'm hearing that buzzing sound on my ear, my phone, so... I don't hear it when I'm not on the menu, but when I'm in the game I do. So guys, I'm going to just take my mic off completely and put my I'll speak, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably put my wireless headphone because this is weird. I don't know what it's doing it for. Shouldn't be, I've been using it all day so it should be fine. My wallet has found such a Umba. True defender of this land will protect me. I'm hearing it with no headphones. What's going on? What's it doing that for? That's weird. It's like guys, you can hear it. I don't know why it's doing it for. I've changed headphones, it's not doing that. Come on, stop it. It's ridiculous now why it does that. I don't know why it's doing it for. Hang on. Sorry, uh, it's just annoying me now. Because uh, even in both headphones, it's doing it. I'm taking my headphones off for now, and then I'll just probably just put my, play my speakers for now, right? I'll, for normal sound, I want the TV like and all that. Let's see how that works. I don't know why it's, I'm hearing buzzing sounds while I'm trying to record this. I don't know why. Could just be the game itself, I don't know. I don't hear it when I'm on the menu, bro. That's weird.
Well guys, I actually think I've done it. I'm not sure if I've done a fight because I was that close to death. All I could hear through the whole fight, even through my TV on that fight, was buzzing sounds. I couldn't hear it when at the menu. Even now I don't hear it. I don't know about what it's like in the video, but I guess all I could hear was buzzing sounds. Um, for, for the audio. We both made phones and through my, my, my TV or not, so I don't know why it's doing that. But I think I've just done it. I think I might have just done that fight. I'm not quite sure. So I've been pausing so many times, I was just trying to sort out my sound and stuff like that, but don't know what's going on. You're the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? We always have been. 
and we always will be. Even though I'm hearing it now. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. Give me a second, guys. Let me just. Um, I don't know what's going on here. My sound's still playing up. No, I switched back to my wireless and stuff for a bit. I don't know what's going on with the audio. I've tried like three different sound formats. Don't know what's going on. Uh... I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win! We do not negotiate! Okay. We do not compromise! There's no way you will ever me, Mom. You'll always be that one. There's no way to listen. me now. There are no you can see me doing this. That's way missing. I don't want to do here, you know. I don't want to make the wrong decisions again. Give me a sec. I don't think about this. Right, guys. I think I've decided what we might do. Um, I know this game has consequences when you do certain things. I know I made the right decision with the last one, but not certain limits of Empire and let them die. I'm trying to make the best decisions I can think of. Um, but spoiling it, I'm not the sport what exactly happens. I mean, I've googled it. I didn't really spoil it for myself. I just sort of read up about it. And either way, he still becomes a vampire. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it doesn't make any difference what you do on this point here, I don't think. I don't think this particular one makes a big difference. I mean, I know we can come off you depending on that. It all depends on how the game actually ends itself. Um, but for now, it, it doesn't really make a decision. He still becomes a vampire anyway, so... I'm going to turn him. Just look at the audio thing on my thing, by the way. I don't know why I'm getting the bad audio on this bit for. I don't know why I'm getting it now, I'm only getting it. Why am I getting the bad audio now, like? I'm, but, oh, it's weird. I don't get it. There's only one after I fight. <laughs> Why not, do guys? I really don't have a clue what why it's doing that.
I hope it doesn't do it in the video. I hope so. I hope we don't, I hope we don't like... What the hell? No, oh, guys. Um, I'm gonna end the video here for now. But I'm gonna try restarting my game. So what happens there? In a second, guys. Right. Well, I restarted my game. The buzzer seemed to have stopped. I don't think it was my headphones as such. Um, I mean, to be honest, I switched my wide, wide, wide headphones to my wireless headphones. And I'll switch from that to plug in my uh, surround sound speakers into my aux, into my controller or the aux cable. It was still doing it then. And I watch the video back. It starts doing it when I bite uh, my column while in the sun. For some reason, that I don't know. It look, in the video, it looks like that triggered off uh, the thing. I don't know what was going on. And I could I couldn't hear it when I was, when I paused the menu. And they had the sound. I could only hear it for like, probably three minutes of of the, of the fight against that guy. I don't know what it was doing it. It didn't do it with the whole fight. It was just when I bit him in the sun. I think it might be some sort of bug in the game itself. I don't even know why I did it. Um, give me a second. I was just copying something from that on my PC. It's another folder. Yeah, I don't know why I did that for. And if there's a way I can replay it, uh, that would be great. Um, I don't think there is. Yeah, but I think it's away. Sorry, guys, about the audio. I have to remember to put something. Oh, she. I have to remember to put something, and uh, so I'm getting distracted with this thing on my PC. It's almost done. I have to remember to put in the description box on the video that there's a buzzing sound on for a couple of minutes of a flight. Well, hopefully it doesn't do it in the actual video file. Um, on the PC or on the upload, but it was there on the PS4, so I don't know. I don't, think, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do, but I can't play back through it, so I'll probably just what I'll probably end up doing is when I come to edit it tomorrow, just mute the whole sound for that, for that part of the flight. Hopefully, that does it. So that's what I'm probably going to do to be fair. Just mute the sound for, for the part it's doing it. Seems it'll stop now. If it wasn't almost towards the end of the boss fight, I probably would have started on PS4, but... I just wanted to get it done. It was kind of annoying me. Alright, let's get straight back into it. Where have I got to go now? Uh, reach Dice Fletcher's Theatre. Why have I got to go there for? I don't what's actually happened to the column. <laughs> yeah, guys, he tells you to have vampire in anyway, other way. It just depends on how the story ends, is what really decides it. Like, it's, it's, that decision doesn't really make a difference. It becomes a vampire anyway at some point. I'm not really sure, sure on it how, but either way, it becomes a vampire.
It's locked, all right. Yeah, Eddie can get done and finish rendering. All the files together, I can actually go to bed. But yeah, it seems like that buzzing sound on the on the game in the video is from the actual game itself, it's not from headphones, it seems like it's a bug, some sort of bug in the game. That's what it seems like anyway. I don't normally have a problem with headphones. No, I don't hear any buzzing sounds right now. Let me just check actually. No, there's actually no buzzing or anything in the audio again anymore. So. It must have been a game. Bugged out for some reason, I don't know why I did that bit, it must have. <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I'd have thought to uh, restart the game in the first place. I it was only there, okay. It's not that far to be fair. Oh, I'm getting tired and my eyes are going. Should we get it healthy? Okay, cool. Oh, mate, you give me a bloody heart attack. Oh, you're fucking dying, mate. I'm dead, though. Oh, I can't that because I'm trapped. Fuck me. Oh, 
That's what happened is I can't really, I don't know thing. Perfect. Now I can feed. Come on, man! <laughs> Fucking stamina's done with nothing. Alright. Now, where was I? Yeah, turn around this way. Come on, the stamina, man, on this game is stupid. I don't know, look. I took my health up, man, and then my stamina just let me down again. I know I can play with a stamina, but quite a bit. Oh, but I really do fucking hate it. Honestly, but I don't even see why it's there. Uh, um. Yeah. Here. Lee spotted. Watch out, boy. Oh mate, you're getting hit by a fucking vampire power and you still find time to hit me. What the hell? Nah, boy. Maybe not. Alright, what's gonna go up in the air then?
So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Where is he then? For me, on the camp, it's like yeah, I got big guy here. It's... Oh no, it's just what I was standing in. I'm saying what? <laughs> Zero. Something dodgy going on there. No, mate. Not a safe place right now. Get them weapons ready! <laughs> we found Oh yes, so I have a stamina bar, but they don't. God. How the hell did that one guy just... <laughs> Ooh. 
Oops. That's all I've got to say to that. <laughs> oh, I'm back over here again. And I've got nobly. Oh, let's go for here this time. I mean, stamina is just ridiculous sometimes. Was that the most awkward time? And the guy was just sitting there spamming like hell and just. I'm not from the charge, man. Death now, fucker. What's that fish you got in there? Whatever. I secretly suspect that he's a bad guy. The entire time.
It's locked, all right. Okay, this is weird. How do you get down there? That's what I want to know. Where's the way down? Oh, oh it looks like it's hanging from a rope or something. I don't know how to get down to it. Let's kill them all in here now. Some of go to our slice. Oh, let's go outside the building. This happens. I just took him away. Okay. Yeah. Not really sure. <laughs> Come on, I only guess I done so I can go to sleep. Turn later. Who was turning later? What about who was turning later? Huh? Why is there another way down there or something? Because... Get that man. How they still be hitting me when just getting hit by that fucking thing? I hope it's not bitched or something. I would like to finish the game and not have it bogged on me. It's bad enough fucking one video got part of the video got ruined by bloody 
audio shit. <laughs> Which wasn't even due to me. Happened in the game for some reason. Oh, I did. I turned the thing not to the back out here. Oh my god, now I got a. Oh, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Watching the film. Don't need to be watching long ass loading screens again, but I didn't even click on that. Clicked on that thing. Not out of a door. Oh, come on, I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. I've got to watch this thing again once I get back in there. <laughs> come on. Came about some long ass loading screens. I've got to watch it again because I have to go back in the building. Just oh, go back in there. I didn't. I didn't even click on the door to go back out though. That's a. That's a point. Return at a more convenient time. Oh, no, you return now. I didn't even click it in the first place. I've got to sit in the bike another 20 seconds or so. Well, it's now been 20 seconds. Because I'm, I'm not kind of watching the time on, on the render. Thirty seconds. <laughs> wow, really took like 40 seconds. <laughs> wow. Sat on the table there. Oh. 
Right, okay, I'll say to rest. I'll just finish reading. Dice is just journal, it's painful, and just for what it was. My god, woman. The woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her play. It helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of some Harriet Jones who has been treated as a patient for a long time at the Primitive Hospital. Oh, okay. She hated her mother, but used her from the fame and notoriety, or notoriety I should say, to see her while visiting the poor and sick in East End. I know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before the turning to the theatre and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Reed finally defeated. Presence of a vampire a va vampire in the same hospital where Harriet Jones was treated can't be a hundreds. I'm convinced he is deeply involved with vampire play going on in London right now. I'm also convinced Swansea is his accomplice and that rose to a planet something and more terrifying than any regard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts regards still possess to get some answers. It may appear brutal in the meantime. I'd better send some patrols to investigate. That was a current open book hospital. Sorry guys, my eyes are really bad because I'm that tired. It took me two days to pass a through with dust registers and dust registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time with this. Research to prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to our present situation in a copy of William Marshall's memoir. To so with me to read more carefully, this creature Marshall says he fought in 1666 but it's disaster that aimed to destroy London. It's very similar to what happened to Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, hate of a living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt now that the bloody old date of William Marshall is behind this. But he is back. This could be our greatest accomplishment. If a guard could at least find and destroy that old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is now trying to do. D did the creature of a disaster escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666? And Reed did the same with Dyer's before she became such a creature. I don't know, but those who two are clearly... Those two are clearly working together. They're not like Porter men for. Working together and Swansea is helping him. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and integrated. As for Reed, I'll destroy the evil beast myself and then we'll deal with William Marshall and this disaster thing. Pre one will prevail once more. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Oh, all's right in the first place. I just didn't see that on the table. Why is giving me that for? I never use them swords, it's so shit. Die, beast. Right, stop, stop fucking hitting him midair and just again hit him. You Wasting my stamina. Why well, should I have like that because you fucking. Come on! Fucking out! Look. Uh. 
You wouldn't look onto it first then. I'll get a half generator real quick. It's locked, all right. Should be enough health. It's locked. It's locked. So I'm gonna through then. No, it's just safe for users to source energy abilities. It's always be locked, so we need access to find me out. Okay, I'm bloody I should find the key to that box. It's locked alright. First floor. Forth, back and forward. Just to back and forward on bloody tired, eh? I don't want to do it. <laughs> Should read this. Cars worrying me for. Oh, it's that guy, isn't it? Cars worrying me. They keep and I'm announcing they come up and imprecise but tell with Asia, distinct from this awful war.
Well, the horned vampire still like he's shown himself to um, to Jonathan. I can't believe it. I cannot enter. I went to rescue him, but I can't get through the door. as well. I don't need like, I don't need like to vampirism. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Pure Perhaps heart. this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. No. No, oh, that is the kind of Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... ...dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat... ...delicate position. When I made him... ...an immortal. Really? 
you sure that was the wisest course of action? Mm -hmm. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Oh. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he is supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Why would the Guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and 
graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Oh, not one of his decisions. Ah, shiza. What do I do? Hmm. Um, other choices, this one's probably the hardest. <laughs> He probably does deserve to die, but... What happened to the hospital if I let him die? That's the question. And now what, Bogra? No, Edgar. You are not going to die. Unless you want to. What? What, what do you mean? I can save you, Edgar. I can turn your broken body into one like mine. Truly would. After all I've done, I, after all that's been said, you would offer me this gift? I have no way of knowing which punishment would be worse, Edgar. But it is not for me to decide. So? Oh, please, Jonathan, please. I beg you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always searched for. Very well, then. Face an eternity of guilt. I'm ready. Oh, indeed, I am ready. <laughs> Enough! Trophy. Hint failed, hint failed. <laughs> hmm, might as well have the finished in ten XP. I just hope it's too long to get XP back anyway. Alright, I'll we'll have to Lady Ashbury now. I 
and I'll call it then. Oh, I'm saying I can throw again. Best day back, sir. Going there anyway. Oh, where do I go? That house. Oh my! You piss off, you son of a no. bank! Die! I want to finish off what I'm doing so I can go to sleep. Don't waste my time. Oh my. how she's going to react to what I've done. Mm, that's a question, how is she going to react? Especially means them to a kind of a item. These long ass loading screens. Matthew's <sighs> mansion. Okay, where is she? brings you back to me, Jonathan. What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic, but he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. 
All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient? Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icon. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Okay. I can go at them tomorrow, I think. <sighs> Mind you, how else would she react to find out it was her blood that caused the epidemic? How else would you, how else would you react to it, though? I kind of feel sorry for them too, actually, because they kind of they kind of analyze them. That's the way to think about it. I kind of want a happy ending for the, for the two. <laughs> if I can go about right, a happy ending, but I don't know how. Hmm. The only thing I do know is that. The life of that old area would have gone massively down and it would have been like walking through Whitechapel. Everyone would have been dead. But I didn't turn him. Can't really change what he did. wondering is the question in it be do you take the cure? Is it an antidote, I'm guessing. Is it an antidote to that vampirism or an antidote to the um, epidemic? Because he said he will find a cure for this, so to his sister. Is this the cure he's talking about? Who's he, who's he give it to? Edgar? Himself? Or 
Lady Ashford. Because hmm. I have to wait and see. If you want to find out, guys, how it ends, like, below, and don't forget the notification bell. But also, please do that if you do enjoy my videos as well. It would greatly appreciate it, guys. Anyway, I'm off to bed. Watch the film because it's getting late. I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning. It's what time is it now? 20 past 11. I've been up at 6, 6 o'clock in the morning, so I want to go to sleep, watch a bit of TV or film for an hour, and then go to sleep. I'll just check back to it tomorrow. I'll probably go for all of that tomorrow. And hopefully get the game completed in the end. Tomorrow would be nice. Alright guys, take care. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your night.